Aw, snap, we're apparently back at it again with another episode of Rock of Love. I'm actually genuinely excited to watch episode two again, and I'm thinking we can just watch the whole season together and discuss the shenanigans. Hey. 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 Who are you? Hey, I just thought I'd stop by to tell you to tell them to subscribe. Okay, um, thanks. Bippity-bop. So let's just dive right into the episode. We start off with Brett just pumping some iron in this cool outdoor gym setup he has at the house. But first, I just needed to get to the gym. Ah, uh, now let us reminisce on the days of yester when Tiffany was a sloppy drunk mess. Don't throw me with a good time. So how about the bears? I swear to you, I didn't edit this. It's just that good already. I love the don't threaten me with a good time. Like, does she think she's a gangster from the 30s or something? <laughs> I did some research and I looked up this phrase because I wanted to learn the origin of it and just listen to this definition. Don't threaten me with a good time is a positive response to what is interpreted to be a flirty gesture. Brett Michaels says, go easy on the tequila, Tiffany. I may have to physically restrain you pretty soon. Tiffany replies, don't threaten me with a good time. So this was a post I found through Urban Dictionary, through Google, through a search I did. <laughs> Thank you to Sarcastica who posted this back in 2008. It's brilliant. Tiffany somehow looks like a different person today. I'm gonna be a little more low key and see what goes on in the house. Like her makeup actually looks nice. Maybe that's what it is. But her face somehow looks totally different. She's a shape shifter. Okay, so we find out one of the girls was engaged. My ex-boyfriend made me a scrapbook. The first picture we ever took, the first day we ever met, until like our very last picture. Really? It documented everything, my ex-fiance. Okay, I mean, things happen, but it did seem like she brought him up out of nowhere without any prompted questioning. <laughs> I love Heather. Why is she holding this giant salad bowl Full of a giant salad like she's gonna go deliver it to a table at Olive Garden. <laughs> Here, Aaron talking about some fiance. Aaron. Aaron is the name of the one with the fiance. Okay, we're learning together. <laughs> that she's had and this and that. And I'm like, what the hell? I am so determined to get Aaron's phony ass out of here. Heather's like, ooh, I'm telling. With this big old stupid circus boobs. Go working out. I heard some music coming from the house and God, it sounded. It sounded bad. What are they saying? <laughs> Brett's playing music and everything. And everybody's on the polls and I don't associate myself with people like that. Yeah, it was just, ew, gross. I'm kind of with Jessica on that one. So it's like 11 a.m. on a Tuesday and they're partying it up. <laughs> Partying, we're all having a good time. It's just crazy. I think that the house turned into one of those horrible strip clubs that you find by the airport that are full of like fat chicks with huge fake implants. Oh. Brett's gonna leave and go get a surprise ready. I'm as guilty as they are. We are all guilty amongst our flesh. <laughs> but I have a surprise plan for him, so I'm gonna bail out now. I'm gonna go get ready and drop a little bomb on him. All right, y'all, see you in a few. So we're gonna go outside and see the non-partiers just hanging out, minding their business. But uh-oh, here come the partiers who are gonna come and be rude, apparently. Really? Drink? No. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had drinks? Awesome. Today? Like, yeah. Yeah, had a beer. Now you, a beer? Uh, you need more than a beer. Lacey acts like she's being so friendly, but meanwhile she's being a bitch. She made a pathetic, pathetic attempt to come outside and get to know me. I don't want anything to do with her or her annoying bimbo posse. <laughs> no. <laughs> So Lacey goes back inside to immediately talk shit. This is like group A and that's group B. And I went outside and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to hang with the girls I don't know at all. But don't it doesn't it. work, so I came back in your head. <laughs> so they make it known there's a clear rivalry between two cliques of girls. The sweaty outgoing girls. 
actress, we were bitchy, introverted girls. You know, not as whorish. You know, just, she just sits around with this I'm better than you attitude, and you know, she deserves to have that smirk washed right off her face. Lazy is pure evil. Don't! Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. no. Lacey ends up pulling Jess in the pole. Like, isn't this something a fifth grader would do at like a birthday party? I'm pretty sure anyone would be mad if they were surprisingly pulled into a swimming pool with all their clothes on. Get the out of my face and I'm being dead serious. She yanked her kind of hard too. All I did was push her in the pool. It's not like I, you know, set her clothes on fire or anything yet. <laughs> Lacey is literally insane. All right, so this Liv Tyler girl gets to read a note from Brett for the whole group of girls. It's a little love note. When I'm on the road, when I'm on tour, I'm away from my baby and it's a bore. I need a love who can get on the phone, get me hot and give me a good time. <laughs> okay. They're gonna do the first challenge and it's who can do phone sex the best. Wow, who comes up with this stuff? Oh no, this gets some of the girls to want a little drinky drink to get them through the phone sex challenge. They need a little liquid courage. This causes Tiffany to start pouring down glasses of wine into her gullet. And we get to watch as she goes from normal everyday Tiffany to sloppy hammered drunk Tiffany that we all know and know. I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> couple two three things don't throw me with a good time oh no hello ladies everyone's seated everyone's sitting down we're going to talk about talking dirty to me we're going to use this device this is how the challenge works i am hooked up to what is called the plethysmograph this thing that actually measures blood flow i won't be able to tell exactly who i'm talking to but that's what made this great so you're telling me Brett's basically gonna hook up some machine to his weenie and this guy, Dr. Roy, who isn't actually an accredited doctor, is gonna tell them if Brett's turned on? This is breaking my brain. <laughs> Dr. Roy, you getting a good reading over there? Ah, uh, strong like bull. Ew, I don't know. I don't like it. The girls do their thing. I guess there's all kinds of interesting techniques from singing Once I received the phone call from LA to speaking in an English accent. How would you like that? I could be a dirty nanny. I think that would be really, really hot. Thank you. Doc Roy approved. <laughs> Oh. You take me to it. Um, was it before or after we were playing Ring Around the Bad Post? What is Tiffany even talking about? <laughs> was that before or after you're giving me boxing lessons? Because I love that. Then she says her famous catchphrase and ruins the moment even more. Come on, I'm on the road here. You gotta talk to me. Really? Don't threaten me with a good time. 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 <laughs> See, they get it. Tiffany, obviously. Rodeo is really going for it. I want to press you against me. Oh, I'm so into it. I want to kiss you. I want you to... I'm like, oh my god, what is going on right now? So Brett waddles out in his jammies looking like a toddler to give the results. Aaron, Lacey, and Rodeo get to go on a date with Brett. <laughs> Brandy is not happy. I'm so pissed that Aaron gets to go out on a date. Why is she even in this house? Her boobs, they're circus so Dallas wants to start shit. Kill all pets. Animals. I only wear animals and eat them. No. You shouldn't say that. You need to be a good person and condone cruelty to animals. Oh, sorry. sorry. There's an animal right here, right now. I would slit his throat. Did she really just say that? You guys just get to slowly watch my brain break as we witness this together. It's date time. Yo, Lacey and I won the date. And I think I just kind of want to show him a little bit and get him to want more. I'm sorry, but Brandy's chest looks insane. Morning, hey. good morning. Hey. Oh. So excited. Bye. Bye. The girls leave for their date with Brett, and I'm just thinking, 
Aaron, you better enjoy it while you can, because you'll be out of here soon, Brad. And let us pull the song up and just play it for you. You know how we do it? Just play it and let yeah, it hear it. Oh, I can't wait. I needed to complete this song, and I needed to kick it up a notch. I would love to start Lacey with you. We got the cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Brody, are you ready to give it to me, baby? <laughs> I mean, musically speaking. <laughs> All right. Rodeo's laugh. Oh, did I get aroused? <laughs> okay. Am I the only one who thinks it's like gross to watch people make out on reality shows or just like any show really? Because watching these two make out kind of. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you can put on that track. Her moaning and groaning actually brought the song to a new level. So the final result of the song they were creating is... That cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Not quite something that I think anybody would listen to. But okay, good effort, I guess. Heather is trying her damnedest to get rid of Aaron for the ex-fiance situation. She's out on a date with him right now. She's got a boyfriend at home. What the hell? Like, like she's not even into him. Get the out of here. Aaron has a fiance and that's up. And he needs to know about people that have boyfriends in this house too. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> back to the house and with elimination coming up i knew i needed to make a decision and so i needed to talk to some of these girls again tamara is dumb bob dylan bunny ray uh, every every big hit record he's done and he just is the most insane cool fun dude oh cool Man, yeah, it was awesome. no connection and dumb as a box of rocks listen the bottom line is and hot. Let's just. It, it, it. I swear, Tiffany sounds totally different when she's not drunk. Red set, I hit strike three. So I feel like the cards are against me. So Erin talking about her ex fiance has rumored around so much that it has turned into people actually saying Erin just straight up has a boyfriend. Turns out some girls here have boyfriends. Yeah. <gasps> Who? One of the girls that what? Was on a date um, with you guys? Was it Erin? Yeah. Erin has a boyfriend? Heather sits down with Brett to let him know that Aaron is supposed to get married in May. There's some people here I don't think they're here for you. Well, tell me. I need but to know this. But supposed to get married in May. You're kidding no. me. No. That's what I just heard. Aaron, she has a fiancé back in Chicago. I gotta admit, I was completely surprised. Okay, so that sort of changes things. Like, yeah, that's way worse. That's good to me. I'm actually pretty pissed off about it. Uh, me too. Brett mad. Like, I'm like, I'm like, why, why, why be here? So he brings up Aaron and he questions her. I'm a guy that reacts to something immediately. I don't keep it on my chest. I, you know, I don't keep it inside forever. I'm kind of pissed off right now. I need to ask her something right away, okay? Two girls, both of them said that you have a really serious relationship and or married. You know, is this true or not true? Oh, hell no. She just straight up denies it. So I don't know what to believe. Obviously somebody is twisting my words and trying to get me eliminated because they see me as a threat. Somebody obviously saw me as competition and they're trying to jeopardize my time here and trying to get me kicked off. This is pissing me off now. I needed to make a decision immediately because someone's going home tonight. It's elimination time. I'm a little nervous right now. It's elimination night and I know Aaron deserves to be on our way, but did I go too far? I'm not sure. I really want Erin to go home tonight. She was fighting with me. Brett's thinking that she may or may not have a boyfriend. If I were Erin, I'd be worried. Tiffany hopes Brenda goes home, who is absolutely no one's name. Brenda? Brendy? Hold up. What in the heck is Brett wearing? <laughs> he has a whole cow draped over him with what I believe to be an Ed Hardy cowboy hat. I got so distracted by this outfit that I pretty much missed some of the selections, so let me rewind a little. You stay in this house and continue to rock my world. Yes, I will. Rock my world. You stay in this house and rock my world. Yes. We're down to five girls and only one pass left. <laughs> All right, ladies, I got one pass left. And I got five girls. I'm gonna get down to it right now. For, for some reason, they like to eliminate large groups of girls at a time in these first two episodes. So we have Tawny. Don't remember her. 
Next we have Liv Tyler. Oh, our beloved Tiffany. Almost want to make a shirt in her honor. Don't threaten me with a good time. He missed out on a very good person. He actually missed out on the person he could take home to mom. Bye. Goodbye, queen. And last but not least, Tamara, who battles her way through this sentence. I think this is a good time for me to uh, make my exit. This is good. <laughs> not bad. Although Brett was good too. Maybe. Not that I would know. My name is Tamara Brett. She never told anyone the correct pronunciation of her name. Brett literally called her Tamara the entire two episodes, and so have I, I'm sure. Tamara. Down here. What the f is this? He's keeping Aaron? This is such a Come down here so we can get this party started. Yeah. Naked in the jacuzzi immediately. Ah, yes. We made it through episode two of season one of Rock of Love. We survived together. Who do you think will be Brett's love? So this is my life now. I'm officially analyzing every episode of Rock of Love until there's no more Rock of Love to analyze. If you have any suggestions for any shows you'd like to see me do in the future, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.